Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay today. Today I have a double daylight speculation video for chapter 20, and as you read by today's title, I'll be looking at the Resident Evil chapter killer could be a Resident Evil village character. Now remember, this is all 100% speculation. I do apologize if I sound tired because I am. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry. Also, I do apologize for not uploading yesterday or even uploading the Shrine of Secrets video on Wednesday. I've just been really tired lately and in a way kind of busy. So yeah, I do apologize. Hope you guys are enjoying the new Mitch after patch and DVD, but fuck it. Let's begin with today's video. Actually, before I get into it, if you could drop a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, obviously. Click the description right now. Go ahead and follow out his dealings on TikTok. Please help him get to 300 followers. Show him all the love and support he definitely deserves. It will mean a lot to me, and it will definitely mean a lot to Salem, which is awesome. And the policy has done really, really good. The double daylight montages are really, really good. Double daylight edits, better montages, and better edits. I could do my whole fucking life, and I honestly mean that 100%. So, yeah, it will mean a world if you go ahead and follow. Show him all the love and support he deserves in the description. Let's jump right into it. So, I'm reading all of this off leaks by daylight, by the way, on Twitter. So, yesterday, a teaser was released on the social channels of Dead by Daylight. To remind you that there are three weeks left until the anniversary stream that will reveal the Resident Evil chapter. As happened last year, this year too, the fans have speculated about who could be the killer based on the number in the anniversary banner. Last year, the fall was connected to the head of Pyramid Head, and in fact, it was a right speculation. This year, instead, the five recalls a hook which could be connected to the sisters of Lady Dimitri Rescue. I probably butchered the fuck out of the name. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm sorry. As all three hooks. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, that name. <laughs> As all three hooks have, uh, have hooks. I can't speak. As all three have hooks. Yeah, I do apologize. And then to the latest Resident Evil game, Resident Evil Village. So as you can see on the screen right here, here is a double day like fifth anniversary, three weeks left banner. Right there. And here's some pictures. Of the lady uh, of <laughs> what the fuck you call it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do apologize if it's blurry. By the way, um, these what like, images ain't the best. They always turn out blurry for some reason. I don't know why. So yeah, putting an important reference to the Resident Evil Village within this chapter would make sense, as it would give a boost in visibility and in brackets, and therefore in potential sales to the new game. But for now, this is just a speculation. I remind you that in exactly 20 days, there'll be that, uh, the stream that revealed contents of this new chapter. Are you guys excited about this? I want to get my thoughts and opinions on this um, like whole teaser thing. I mean, not teaser, speculation thing, sorry. So, obviously the newest game, Resident Evil Village, is coming out. I don't think it's already came out, I'm not sure. And obviously that's the new like boss, I believe, or some shit like that. I'm not really um, with the killers or the bosses in Resident Evil, any of them, except from like Nemesis, honestly. Uh, look at it logically, I doubt it'll be the new like boss in the Resident Evil game, the new one. Just because the game's new, and I guess it'll be harder to even get like licensing for that. I could be wrong, obviously, that's why it's speculation, but I'm just looking at it logically. I could be 100% wrong, 100% right, I don't know, I'm not confirming shit, just take all of this as a grain of salt, or pinch of salt, whatever you call it, um, but obviously, in a way it has potential to be, because uh, this whole speculation this year is only based off one game, and that is Resident Evil, last year we speculated Five Nights at Freddy's, Pinhead, fucking a bunch of like different horror franchises, this year we're only basing it off one, and that's Resident Evil. Yes, there's a lot of bosses, but this could be, in fact, the lady of, however you pronounce the name. Um, but as I said, it's speculation. I can't confirm or deny anything. So I hope you guys respect that. And yeah, I want to know your thoughts and opinions. Anyone regular with Resident Evil uh, have any clues, thoughts and opinions on this? I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comment section below. Just in general, what you guys think. It will mean a lot. Click the description right now. Go ahead and follow out. It looks also TikTok. Please help him get to 300 followers, show him all the love and support he definitely deserves. It'll mean a lot to me and it'll mean a lot to Sailing, which is awesome. And the policy is done really, really good. 
double dollar edits and montages better edits and montages i can do my whole life and i honestly i truly fucking believe uh believe that i mean like mean that you guys know what i mean um as i said once again i'm sorry that i'm tired in this channel and the playlist you can also find double dollar montages um he's edited all five of them which is fucking amazing work and uh incredible edits and if you love the ones on this channel in the playlist of Debo Della montages you'll love the Debo Della montages on his TikTok way more trust me you would they're fucking amazing um, and it's just yeah it's just you can't say enough good things about his edits and everything like you just can't they're too good but yeah anyways please just go ahead and follow him uh, his TikTok in the description it'll mean the world and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video Peace.